we got to get into Lucifer a little bit. Okay. Um, I mean, what a huge success and like a huge fan base. Like I remember watching that it was Netflix when Netflix took over. First of all, how rare is it for a show to where Fox said they didn't want to go on and yet they found a home at Netflix that that just doesn't happen. Mm hmm. Usually a show's over, it's over. They, well, we'll take the five seasons and we'll air those. Yeah. And they wanted another season out of it, right? Well, we'd done, by that point, we'd done three seasons. Just three? Yeah, we'd done, and the first season was like, what they call like a, a half season. So it was 13 episodes. And then we did two of the full, you know, 22 episode biggies. And then they canceled it. Uh, how, how did you feel, by the way, when that happened? Oh, I honestly, I was gutted. I was, I was, I was at a fan convention in Rome having the time of my life and like having, you know, I'd spent a whole weekend of people just confessing their love for the show and like talking about the show and blah, blah, blah. And it was, you know, I was thousands of miles from where we'd filmed this thing thinking, my goodness, isn't it strange that we'd like, we've got this fan base that's growing and growing and growing and growing. And then literally I was in the minibus on the way back from the convention to the hotel we were staying at. And I got a call from our showrunner saying that Fox had just canceled the show. Uh, and I was just, I was crushed. I like, I was so like, I was thrown. I just didn't, I, I didn't expect it to happen. And I was, I was, yeah, I was pretty devastated. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Did you have to do a Q and a after that? <clears throat> no, that was, I, so I just, um, I think I just done my last day. Uh, Thank God. I know. How are we going to keep a straight face? Like, yeah, I hope it goes forever too. I know. Well, the whole weekend had been about people going, when are we going to hear about season four? When are we going to hear about season four? And I was like, very soon, very soon. Don't worry. And then yeah. I got the call and it was like, oh my God. Um, but how long after did you get the call saying, hey, they're trying to get this going? Well, here's somewhere. the weird thing. So I, I traveled back to London uh, from Rome and I was just, you know, gutted and I was talking to people on the phone and whatever. And then I found out that, that that was on like the Monday or Tuesday. And I found out that Fox still hadn't announced that they were going to have to cancel it yet. Um, so we knew, but no one else knew. And then, uh, then someone t tipped me off. I'm not going to say who, but someone tipped me off that Fox had planned to kind of bury the news of the cancellation by announcing something else at the same time. Uh, that following weekend. Oh, or their new show, Replacing yeah. Lucifer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And anyway, yeah, yeah. All of that. And I was, you know, I had a lot of emotion going on, a lot of these things, and I decided <laughs> that I would take it upon myself to tweet that I had found out the show had been cancelled and I was absolutely gutted and I'm sorry to everyone. And I did Good that. Good move. I did that before Fox the announcement. Before the announcement. Were they pissed? I don't fucking care. Yeah. I, I mean, to be honest with you, at the time- They fired you. I, I, they do fired you know what? I, I pressed send on that tweet and then I had a panic attack because <laughs> I thought, oh my God, I've just like ruined everything and blah, blah, blah. Right. Uh, and I, I left my phone and I went uh, into my room and I was just like, what have I done? Uh, blah, blah, blah. And then I got my shit together and about an hour and a half later, I went back to my phone and I looked at it and it had absolutely blown up, but it had blown up in the most positive way possible. And this kind of, I've said it before, there's like tsunami of love just came from around the world from all these people. Going, Hundreds what? of thousands. It was crazy. And it didn't stop. That was the thing about it. It just snowballed and snowballed and snowballed and snowballed. And uh, eventually I got a call later that weekend from a guy called Peter Roth, who was head, mm -hmm. of, head of Warner Brothers TV, who Warner Brothers was our studio and they made it for Fox. Um, and he said, Tom, um, uh, like, I want you to know we're not ignoring all this kind of, all this stuff that's happening on, on social media. Um, we are going to try and do something about it. Um, and so I said, what do you need me to do? And he said, uh, can you get over here to LA, um, you know, just to keep, keep it kind of keep stoking the fire as it was. So I got on, I, I, I got myself to Heathrow airport and then I got to Heathrow airport. I had a, a, a message from BBC Newsnight. Now, if anyone knows that's like, big, the UK, there's the news and then BBC Newsnight is a night is a nightly show that discusses the news in a very, very kind of like intellectual, you know, articulate like way. Like 60 minutes. Yeah, basically. And they said that they had noticed that, that they had been, you know, noticing what was happening on social media and blah, blah, blah about the show. Did I want to appear as a guest on the show? 
to talk about that and to talk about television changing and all these things. And I was like, absolutely. So I got to LA and then I ended up doing like a, a, a studio bit back to London about this. And for the next kind of week and a half, two weeks, it just like this became like all I talked about and all people were asking me about. Um, and then, you know, a couple of weeks later, I, I'd sort of been tipped off from Peter that, that things were progressing well. And then we got the Netflix announcement and it was the most vindicating, wonderful experience. <laughs> And I didn't feel quite so bad about pressing send on that tweet. You single-handedly did that. <laughs> you single-handedly no. brought back the show. I no. I, 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 I mean, the the, I, the crazy thing is that I I'd already I already knew from like three years of doing press for the show that it really kind of started to spread. That people were loving this show, and not just in in the states, but like everywhere I was going to. And weirdly, now when I look back at it. Lots of Catholic countries. <laughs> All the countries around the world that are Catholic are really into the show. <laughs> Don't know why, but there we go. Right. Um, but um, well, they're it, fascinated by that. Kind they of stuff. are. Yeah, they're fascinated they by are. that character, and you know, you know what the, their perception of the devil is, and what ours was. And but it was, it was when I heard it had been cancelled. I thought, oh, there's a lot of people who aren't going to be very happy about this. What I didn't realise that there was millions of people that were not happy about it and wouldn't let it go.